Hey everyone, welcome back. It's another episode of this Building This House From Scratch. Uh, this is episode 13, last episode we talked a little bit about the slab details that we, uh, we did on the garage and the hallway. Uh, this episode is going to be about some rain screen details, uh, that a little bit about the current state of the state, what's out there, and then the direction uh, we went, which actually, um, give me one second, get the box for these guys, um, so what we, I think, are pretty familiar with out there is this kind of detail when it comes to rain screen, right? We have a uh, house wrap, um, and then we have the rain screen, then we have the siding, whatever that is for, uh, this is lap, obviously. And one thing that I didn't, it seems to be a tension with me at least, is as we're building homes, um, we all seem to acknowledge that wood is, you know, a great material, it's renewable, it's recyclable, um, but we also acknowledge that we need to protect it, and whether that's with paint or clear coat or, you know, around the windows having liquid flash to support um, any leakage issues that we have, we've all come to acknowledge that, that wood is potentially one of those points of failure uh, in, in, the, in the build. But when it comes to rain screens, I constantly see this kind of installation right you you have you know you hear us talk about us I'm using that loosely in terms of the industry that um, wood is needs to be protected and then we go and put these wood rain screens these furring strips in place to keep our siding off the uh, the house and, and I get to that um, you would expect that that maybe the intent is that if there's air going up there that um, those will dry out as well. My thoughts are, at some point that wood's going to fail, um, whether from being dry and brittle, whether from potentially water getting stuck somewhere, ideally not. Uh, and that's, I think, why you start to see companies coming out with different types of uh, implementations of the rain screen uh, detail, but besides just a wood furring strip. And maybe wood furring strips are the cheaper the cheaper way to go, but hopefully when we're building our homes, um, we don't necessarily always want cheap, especially when we're talking about keeping keeping water out, both from a, a management standpoint and just from a drying through standpoint. So, I didn't, I wouldn't say I did a comprehensive market um, assessment, but there were just a few uh, that I did look at that I that I kind of want to talk through. Uh, the one on the left here, this is Core Event Solution. And it's a fur. It, it is a furring strip in the sense that it would just attach, just like uh, these wood furring strips would be. So you just imagine these being core vent strips instead. The one bonus that these core vent strips have that wood doesn't have is you see these side channels um, here that that does allow some air through, and even at the bottom allow some air through. So there's definitely more air going through this. Uh, detail this 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 firing strip so to speak than the plain old wood ones however if you go to and look at the core events product in the store you know whether it's Home Depot or your local builder supply and you hold it, it it's it just feels cheap to me you know I feel like it's just laminated cardboard um, or treated cardboard and I think that we can do a little bit better than that and I think it's sufficient probably and and I don't know if I would use this over the wood um, I think that the core vent would maybe break down sooner again I don't know I've not done any tests on these but it just feels a little flimsier than, than wood uh, the next one on the on this side here is uh, the Delta dry solution and so it would wrap all around the house um, as a traditional type of uh, think of it as a wrap, but just another layer on top of the wrap. The the reason I didn't go with this was it was a little bit more pricey. 
um, I think it was actually 33% more, somewhere around there, than the product I went with. And I think it's probably a really good product. I think Delta makes a lot of great products out there. The thing that I don't love about it is that you have to use kind of some unique fastening methods here. I know it's hard to tell in this picture, but these details, um, I think there's a special a special fastener you need to use. Or potentially you could use staples, I don't know, but I think they probably recommend using their own fasteners. So uh, we did go with the Delta Dry solution. Uh, then there's this company called um, Mortar Vent and they offer kind of a rain screen solution um, as well. They actually offer a couple solutions here and I'll talk through both of them. The first one is very similar to the core vent solution, this furring strip that goes up, you know, just like any furring strip would. But what they do tout is it's because there's less surface area um, within the strip that there's more drying that, that's occurring. There's less um, water pinned against the building, so to speak, um, and you get drying both ways, um, up and down, and, and, and uh, both horizontally and vertically. Uh, this product, they actually sent me some samples, which is nice of them, um, is, comes in, comes in white, uh, let me fix this guy a little bit. Okay. Comes in white, or black. Um, here. Um, comes in white or black, uh, and if there are any black ones left. Yeah. So yeah, they have a bunch of these guys. Um, They've been super helpful. Uh, their customer service has been great so far, both from a, you know, supplying samples as well as answering some questions. Uh, these come in 50 pieces per box, so that's 400 lineal feet per box. They're 3 8 inch thick, uh, 1 and 7 5 inches wide, and 8 foot lengths. Um, and they're, you know, they 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 say, they say use this for, you know, clapboard, cedar shakes, or composite siding. Uh, these definitely feel much more substantial than the core event product uh, that that I've had my hands on and so uh, the 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 build quality just seems a lot better than than the core event version uh, and then what we went with ultimately is also by mortar air or mortar vent here by with the advanced technologies team and it's this wrap very similar to, to Delta that it, that, that it encapsulates the whole building and there are these you know there are these sheets here I'm getting some green screen effect with this blue guy um, as you see there they can be pretty thick this one is 10 mils I have another one here it's thinner it's, it's their thinnest which is 3 mils and then they have one in between here that's six mils and so as you can see from this picture here there's got there's some relief um, occurring there we go and that gives you that that depth and space between uh, your siding product and the house um, so whether you want a lot of space or a little space that could potentially depend on your your siding how far out your windows are um, things like that and then the blue part goes against the house and then they have this filter fabric on the back um, so hopefully that prevents any sediment or anything uh, coming through through there the uh, the nice thing about this I thought was that it just goes up like a, a pretty simple wrap you just staple it up uh, just like you would kind of a, a tie back wrap or something and so there's there's li pretty limited install process um, around that and knowledge around that. Um, not to say furring strips are that difficult as well, but there there's a little bit more overhead in ensuring you know the strips are lined up with your with your framing so that you're nailing those into 
something solid. Uh, the firing strips, I think, would take a little longer. You know, you got to line it up and set it up. It just feels like there's a little bit more overhead in that product. That being said, it's less material in the sense of cost, right? Like these are, this has to cover the whole house, um, where the furring strips only cover up wherever you want um, the the, uh, the 16 inch on center or whatever is specced out uh, to place them for for your siding. So I didn't get the cost of the furring strips, but the cost of the the mortar vent solution rain screw the, the the sheet stuff here is I want to say a dollar maybe a little less than a dollar it's probably less than a dollar a, a square foot I think my the house I'm looking to wrap is twenty five twenty six hundred and I think I bought uh, thirty six hundred square feet worth of this stuff um, which was I think twenty five hundred dollars or somewhere twenty seven it's in that price range so I don't know how much all the wood furring strips would have been um, I don't think it would have been that much uh, obviously but it's there's again overhead and labor uh, to doing that install as well and this just felt like you know it's the balance right like do you want to pay your guys to be you know lining up the furring strips and measuring and making sure that they're on on, on the studs etc um, or or not you know you pick your poison and for this one it just felt like my team could just staple this up it's pretty easy to install and then go from there and then move into the siding install uh, so I'll keep you posted on what this install is like um, in the sense of how easy it goes up and if there's any problems we run into but um, it feels like a fairly simple solution and one that's easy to to get to get up on the house um, regardless of your your skill level so that's what where we are with the rain screen detail this is actually going to be delivered hopefully next week and then we can start the siding uh, shortly after that so if you have any questions or comments feel free to ask um, in the comments and feel free to subscribe as we continue to uh, build our high performance home here and thanks again for watching